Cool. All right, today we're gonna do the pre-trip outside of the truck inspection. And what we're gonna do when we're at the DMV is we're gonna start with chalking the tires, the drive tires. Then we're gonna come to the ignition. We're gonna actually take the key out of the ignition and place it in our pocket. Then from there, we're gonna move around to the front of the vehicle. In the front of the vehicle, we're gonna start with our trailer clearance lights, our tractor clearance lights, our tractor ID lights, and our tractor turn signals. They're not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and they're amber in color. From there, we're gonna to move to our headlights. Our headlights are not chipped or cracked, they're clean or clear, and there's no signs of condensation, which would indicate a leak. From there, I'm gonna simply look underneath of my vehicle for cops, coolant, oil, power, steering fluid, and I see no leaks. From there, I'm gonna pop the hood open, and move around to my exhaust system. And starting with my exhaust, I'm gonna start out with my exhaust, it's not bent, cracked, or broken, missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, U-bolts, or clamps. And I see no signs of soot, which would indicate an exhaust leak, and I would follow that all the way to my engine compartment. Once I get to the engine compartment, I'll start off with my hoses. My hoses are not cut, cracked, dry rot, or bulging, and I hear and see no leaks from any of my hoses. From there, I'm gonna to move to my alternator. My alternator is not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and it is belt driven. And then I'm gonna to move to my alternator wire. It is not cut, cracked, dry rot, or frayed, and I see no signs of burnt, damaged, or exposed wires. From there, I'm gonna to move to my belt, and my belt is not cut, cracked, dry rot, or frayed, and at its proper tension, you shouldn't be able to move it more than a half an inch. Now I'm gonna move around, well, excuse me, one more thing, I'm going to do my cool, my windshield washer coolant reservoir. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, this ain't nuts, bolts, or screws, and it has a sight glass so I can see that it's filled to its proper level, and I see no leaks. And now I'm going to move around to the driver's side. And on the driver's side, I'm going to start at the top and just simply work my way right down and through. So I'm going to start off with my coolant reservoir. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leaks, and it has a sight glass so I can see that it's filled to its proper level. If it didn't have a sight glass, I would simply turn the engine off, wait for it to cool down, remove the cap, and fill it to its proper level. Now I'm gonna move to my old dipstick and fill tube. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. To check my oil, I would simply remove my dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it out. If it needed oil, I would fill it through the oil fill tube. From now, I'm gonna to move to my air compressor. My air compressor's way in the back right here. My air compressor is not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and it is gear driven, and I hear no leaks. From there, I'm gonna to move to my water pump, and my water pump is right here. My water pump is not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and it is belt driven. Also, I see no leaks. From there, I'm gonna to move to my, my power steering fluid reservoir. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It has a sight glass so I can see that it's filled to its proper level, and I see no leaks. From there, I'm gonna to move to my reservoir hose, my power steering fluid reservoir hose. It is not cut, cracked, dry rod, or bulging, and I see no leaks. From there, I'm gonna to move to the five parts of my steering linkage. My steering rod, my steering box, my pitman arm, my drag link, and my steering knuckles. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and in my steering box, I see no leaks. My castle nut and carter pin are in place at each, on each end of my um, steering link, linkage, and then from there, I'm gonna move on to my U-joints and sockets. For on either one of those, I see no excessive wear and they're properly lubricated. From there, I'm gonna drop right down to my suspension system. So my forward and rear leaf spring mounts and U-bolts are not bent, cracked, or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. My leaf spring itself is not bent, cracked, or broken. It's properly aligned. And if there was any more than a quarter of a leaf missing, I would place this tractor out of service. From there, I'm gonna move back on it to my shock absorber. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. And now I'm gonna move into my braking system. My brake hose is not cut, cracked, dry rod, or bulging, and I hear no leaks. My brake chamber is not bent, cracked, or broken, missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and I hear no leaks. My slack adjuster push rod and carter pin are not bent, cracked, or broken, missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They sit at a 90 degree angle, and with the brakes released, I shouldn't be able to move them more than one inch. From there, I'm gonna to move to my brake liners, which is nothing more than your brake shoes or your brake pads. We call them brake liners. There's no excessive wear. My brake drums, they're not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no holds or welds other than factory, and it's free of any oil or grease. From there, I'm gonna move right out to my tires. There's three things that are the same on all the tires, so I always start with those. First, 
These tires are filled to 100 PSI, which I would check with a tire pressure gauge. Second, there's no uneven tread wear. Third thing is my sidewalls are not cut, cracked, dry rot, or bulging. Now, these tires can have no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch tread depth, and these tires cannot be mismatched, retread, or recapped. From there, I'm going to move to my rim. And my rim is not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no holes or welds other than factory. My lug nuts and studs, they are not bent, cracked, or broken. And I see no signs of running rust, which would indicate a loose or missing lug or stud. My hub oil seal, it's not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. It has a rubber cap right there, so I would remove that cap, stick my pinky in it. If it needed fluid, I would fill it up and replace the cap. From there, I'm going to move to my door, my door handle, and my door hinges. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Open and shut it. It's functioning properly. From there, I would check my mirror brackets. My mirror brackets are not bent, cracked, or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws. And I would check all my mirrors. My mirrors are not chipped or cracked. They are clean and clear. From there, I would move backwards to my storage box. My storage box inside of there is three reflective triangles. There's extra circuit breakers and fuses. And there is a fire extinguisher that's properly rated, current, and up to date. From there, I'm going to move down to my fuel tank. My fuel tank is not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. From there, I'm going to move to my fuel tank straps. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no signs of shiny metal, which would indicate a loose or shifting tank. From there, I'm going to move to my fuel cap. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. To check it, I would simply remove the cap, make sure the rubber grommet is not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or missing. From there, I'm going to go right to my drive shaft. My drive shaft is not bent or hanging. My U-joints, my universal joints, they are properly lubricated and there's no signs of excessive wear. From there, I'm going to move to my frame. My tractor frame is not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws. And there's no holes or welds other than factory. From there, I'm going to move to my catwalk and my steps. My catwalk and steps are not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws and they're free of any objects or debris. From there, and you must break this down into two sides. We'll start with the tractor side, and then we'll move to the trailer side. I'll start with the electric line. The electric line on my tractor side is not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or frayed, and I see no signs of burnt, damaged, or exposed wires. Then my electric line on my trailer side is not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or frayed, and I see no signs of burnt, damaged, or exposed wires. Then I'll move to the tractor side of my, my air hoses, my air lines. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws. My air hoses are not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or frayed, and I hear no leaks. My glad hands on the trailer side are not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws. I hear no leaks. And to check it, I would simply remove the glad hand and look at the rubber grommet to make sure it's not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or missing. From there, I'm going to go into my trailer face and header board. My trailer face and header board is not bent, cracked, or broken. I see nuts, bolts, or screws, or rivets. And I see no holes which allow the elements to enter and damage my freight. From there, I'm going to move to my splash guard and mud flap. If it's in front of the tire, it's a splash guard. If it's behind the tire, it's a mud flap. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, screws, and nor are they missing. From there, I'm going to move into my suspension system again uh, for the second time. So my leaf spring mounts and U-bolts are not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My leaf springs are not bent, cracked, or broken. They're properly aligned. Any more than a quarter of any leaf missing would place this tractor out of service. My shock absorber is not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. My airbag mounts are not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My airbags are not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or bulging, and I hear no leaks. From there, I'm going to move into my braking system for the second time. My brake hose is not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or bulging, and I hear no leaks. My brake chamber is not bent, cracked, or broken. I've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and I hear no leaks. My slack adjusters, push rod, and carter pin are not bent, cracked, or broken. We're seeing nuts, bolts, or screws. It sits at a 90 degree angle, and with the brakes released, shouldn't be able to move it more than one inch. From there, my brake liners, there's no excessive wear. My brake drums are not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no holes or welds other than factory, and it's free of any oil or grease. And I'll work my way right back out to the tires. Now, with these tires, they're a little bit differently because these are tandems. So there's a space in between the tires. I'll start with that. The space in between the tires, the tires are properly spaced. They are not touching, and they are free of any objects or debris. Then I'll move into the tires again, and again, I will start with the three things that are the same. These tires are filled to 100 PSI, which I would check with a tire pressure gauge. There's no uneven tread wear. My sidewalls are not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or bulging. These tires can have no less than 2 30 seconds of an inch tread depth, and these tires can be mismatched, recapped, and retread. Now I'm going to move into the rims for the second time. My rims are not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no holes or welds other than factory. My lug nuts and studs for the second time. My lug nuts and studs, 
they're not bent, cracked, or broken. I see no signs of running rust, which would indicate a loose or missing lug or stud. From there, I'm gonna do my axle seal. My axle seal is not bent, cracked, or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leaks. From there, I'm gonna move on to my coupling system. So now my apron is not bent, cracked, or broken. My fifth wheel is not bent, cracked, or broken. It's properly greased and there's no space in between the two. My king pin is not bent, cracked, or broken. My locking jaws are locked around the shank of the king pin and not the head of the king pin. My pivot pin is secured and properly lubricated. My fifth wheel release arm and safety latch is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and it is in the locked position. My platform is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. There's no holds or welds other than factory, and all of the mounting bolts are there. My sliding fifth wheel locking pins are in the locked position. From there, I'm going to move around to my lights on the back of my tractor. My brake lights, running lights, and turn signals are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. They are red in color. My reverse lights are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. They are clear in color. From there, I'm going to move to the trailer frame. My trailer frame is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. There's not, it's not missing any cross members, and I see no holes which allow the elements to enter and damage my freight. From there, I'm going to move to my landing gear. My landing gear is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My feet, they're free of any objects or debris, and they're fully raised. And my handle is in the crank, in the stowed position. From there, I'm going to move to the side of my trailer. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, or rivets. I see no holes which allow the elements to enter and damage my freight. And my DOT tape runs the entire length of the trailer, and it is not chipped, cracked, or peeling. From there, to finish up the side of my trailer, I'm going to go to my marker light. My marker light is the red one in the back. My marker light is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and it is red in color. From there, I'm going to go underneath of the trailer and I'm going to start with my sliding tandem release arm and locking pins. So my sliding tandem release arm and locking pins are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. It is in the locked position. Then I'm going to go with my torsion bar. My torsion bar is not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My suspension system, my forward and rear spring mounts and U-bolts are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My leaf springs are not bent, cracked, or broken. They're properly aligned. Any more than a quarter of a leaf missing would place this trailer out of service. My shock absorber, it's not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, and I see no leaks. My airbag mounts are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. My airbags are not cut, cracked, dry rod, or bulging, and I hear no leaks. From there, I'm gonna move in to my braking system for the third and final time. My brake hose is not cut, cracked, dry rod, or bulging, and I hear no leak. My slack adjuster, push rod, and carter pin is not bent, cracked, or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws, it sits at a 90 degree angle, and with the brakes released, it shouldn't be able to move it more than one inch. My brake chamber, it's not bent, cracked, or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and I hear no leaks. <clears throat> my brake liners, there's no excessive wear. And my brake drums, they're not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no holes or welds other than factory, and it's free of any oil or grease. Now I'm gonna move into the tires for the third and final time, and I'm gonna start off the same way I did up front. My space in between my tires, they're properly spaced, they're not touching, and they're free of any objects or debris. My tires, these tires, I'm gonna do this three things that are the same on the tires one more time. These tires are filled to 100 PSI, which I would check with a tire pressure gauge. There's no uneven tread wear. The sidewalls are not cut, cracked, dry, rot, or bulging. These tires can have no less than two thirty seconds of an inch tread depth, and these tires can be mismatched, retread, and recap. From there, I'm gonna move to my mud flaps in the rear. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, nor are they missing. I'm gonna move around to the back of my trailer, and I'm gonna start with the lights. So my trailer clearance lights, my trailer ID lights, and my trailer running lights, turn signals, brake lights, and reflectors are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. They are red in color. And then I'm gonna go to my hinges. My door hinges are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, nor are they missing. I'm gonna go to my door handles. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. Then I'm gonna go to my tie downs or chains. My stays, door stays. Door tie downs or door stays. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws, nor are they missing. My DOT bumper, it's not bent, cracked, or broken. We've seen nuts, bolts, or screws. And my DOT tape runs the entire length of the bumper and it is not chipped, cracked, or peeling. And that concludes our outside pre trip for CDS. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. All right.